I've always had pets. All my whole life I've had pets. I had dogs, you know, over the years. And when I was a kid, I had a lot of snakes and frogs. I've always had animals live or dead in my life. I'm the owner of Cypress Hills Taxidermy Studio. It used to be located in Brooklyn. My father started here in 1958. And this year I moved the business to Middle Village, Queens, Metropolitan Avenue. You know, a lot of times sons don't follow their father's occupation, but to me it was like, I knew when I was a kid I wanted to be a taxidermist. It was like just something I just knew I wanted to stick with. There's a couple of people out who are doing little odds and ends, like as more of a hobby. But as far as like a taxidermy business, I'm the only one in the five boroughs. When the animal is hunted, it's skinned on the spot. The skin comes in, all the meat is removed, the skin is salted. Then it gets shipped to the tannery. So I take my measurements, so I can order the mannequin, which is like a fake skull that the skin would go over. Then I build them, then they take weeks to dry, then it has to be finished. This is the real teeth that came out of the real bear skull. So the teeth have to be cut to fit inside. Turnaround time on like, let's say a bear rug would be probably six to eight months. This is my company, my company even supplies a fake tongue, which looks like the real tongue. You really have to be thorough, you really have to care about the animal, not just throw it together. Attention to detail is very important and diversity, you gotta be willing to take anything that comes through the door. Everything in North America, black bear, grizzly bear, deer, fox, raccoon, squirrels. The mechanical part is putting it together. The shaping is the artist part where everything has to be symmetric and perfect. That's the critical part where the wings have to lay right, you know, the head at the angle, the eyes have to be horizontal. Obsessive sometimes. Sometimes it's almost like you have to walk away because you get too crazy with it, you know? I guess it's better than being sloppy. I've done, you know, cats and dogs for people that they call me up and they're so happy they have it back in the house. You know, they can pet it and look at it and it gives them pleasure. But if the animal's in good shape and it comes out nice, that's my favorite. My name is John Yangaitis, I'm a taxidermist and I'm a New Yorker.